Caitlin, sorry, Angus works for a city council and has a starting salary of 30,000 per annum. Per annum is per year. After each year of employment, he gets a raise of $200. Calculate the total salary after completing 10 years of employment. So first thing that we need to do is to determine the type of sequence and then we need to find the sum. So here what we are saying is in the first year he is getting, so let me write like this. So he starts with 30,000, that's his first year of salary. After one year he is get, getting a raise of 200, so next year he would have 30,200. The, the year after he is going to have 30,400 and so on. So this is an arithmetic sequence. So if you, so this is T1, this is T2, and this is T3, and you want to go up to T10. Okay, whatever that number is, T. So you want to add up to the T10, whatever that salary is. Okay, so. You want to add, basically, you want to add the salary of the first year plus the salary of the second year plus the salary of the third year up to the salary of the tenth year. Plus T, say, 9 plus T, 10. That, this is the question. So this basically means you have to find S10. S10 is what the question is. So the sum of n terms, the first n terms is given by this formula n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so this is the sum of n term, the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So let me change color. So we know n is 10, n is 10. What is a? A is the first term, which is 30,000. And D is the common difference, which is 200. So to just apply the formula, so T10 is equal to 10 divided by 2, bracket 2 times A, which is 30,000, plus N, which is again 10 minus 1 times D, which is 200. So let's simplify this a little. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Bracket, thir 2 times 30,000 is 60,000. 60,000 plus 9 times 200. Okay, so let's try to simplify this a bit further. So this is phi bracket 60,000 plus 1,800. And so this is basically six phi times 61,800. 6,000 plus 1,000 is 61,000 and then 800. So let me get my calculator. So so this is menu run, 5 times 61,800 equal is 309,000. Okay, so the answer is for the total sum, the total salary he has got is, what's the number? I forgot the number, 309,000, 309,000. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, so let's look at one more question. Stuart has to pay back his debt to his sister. They decide that Stuart will pay back his debt on a weekly basis over 30 weeks. Okay, so N is clearly 30. Okay, starting with a salary of, sorry, starting with $1.20. So starting at $1.20, okay, in the first week and increasing the amount uh, paid back each week by 40 cents. 
So the next week he will pay one dollar sixty. The next week again forty dollars, sorry forty cents more, so that is two dollars and so on. The so two dollars forty. So the question is how much will he pay? So the question is you have to find S30. In 30 weeks he will pay how much? Okay, so first let's write what is A. A is one dollar twenty or 1.20 or 1.2 D is 0 0.4 because this you're writing in dollars so 40 cents is this is in dollars so this is same as writing 40 cents okay and N we know is 30 so S30 using the formula is 30 divided by 2 bracket two times a which is 1.20 plus 30 minus 1 times d which is 0.4 okay so this is 15 bracket so two times one dollar twenty is two dollars forty plus 29 times 0 0.4 so let me directly use the calculator. So this is, if you have a scientific calculator, this will do for you. So this is 15 bracket 2.40 or 2.40 delete plus 29 times 0 0.4. Close the bracket equal he had a debt of two hundred and ten dollars okay so the total debt he cleared within 30 weeks or the debt he owed to his sister was two hundred and ten dollars